Excuse me, sir. Princess Leia is wondering about Master Luke. He hasn't come back yet. He might have forgotten to check in. Not likely. Are the speeders is that, ready? Uh, not yet. Is that Bill Burr? We got a Bill Burr minifigure in the game? Dude, first his role in Breaking Bad and now this? Bill Burr fans are eaten. You know me, like, I like a snow mission. Red Dead 2 starts in the snow. GTA 5 starts in the snow. This is giving me a feeling that this episode is going to be really good. Like, episode 5 starting off with a bang. This mission was boring as shit. I was wrong, Ben. I was wrong. My analysis is wrong. Hang on, I'll be the judge of that, actually. Where, where the hell is Luke meant to be? Because Luke's like a war hero now, right? Since he did all that, uh, expert aviation in the last episode wait activate three signal towers to reveal luke's location okay did i just completely miss that the camera is so weird on what am i even riding right now somebody's grandfather so we're activating these signal towers so that we can find luke but why is luke missing in the first place now let's get the last one. yeah let's can we this is yeah this is wearing on me i don't want to go and fix another satellite like i'm working for fucking optus or something dude do i look like i work for dodo does any other country besides australia have dodo as an internet provider why is this country the way that it is we have an internet provider that's named after an extinct bird it, it it's not a name that exactly instills confidence in your brand who made these machines to just patrol the snow desert jesus fucking christ We've got a Star Wars Bigfoot Yeti thing here, and it's dead. Are you kidding me? That was what I was looking forward most to. I suppose we did find Luke, but that's not really as cool as finding a Yeti. I think we're we're being unnecessarily violent here. I think he legitimately just wants to offer us a snow cone. Snow cone? Luke. Ben? You will go to the Dagobah system. I won't. There you will learn from Yoda, the Jedi master who instructed me. I'm not doing a single thing you say. He's still there, man. This this should be classified as a neurological disease we have now. There's just some old man d dwelling within my cranium. Hello there. It's not healthy. It shouldn't be celebrated. I don't know why it's celebrated. To be fair, the old man convinced him to destroy the Death Star. Yeah, but the old the old man's done some questionable things, such as sitting in a cave for extended periods of time while everybody else dies and suffers the uh, wrath of a new leader. So I don't know. Wait, when did we get this lightsaber? And why can I wield it so well? I've had no formal training, right? Or did uh, old mate teach me a little bit? I can't remember. Right, build a wing real quick. Wait, and how did I do the... Wait, we did get a training session, right, with, with Obi. Because I just used the force, did I not? When the fuck did I learn how to do that? I don't know, I'm not complaining though. It's a pretty good ability to have in these trying times. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask, how long has it been since the last episode? Two year gap? Three years, two years, three years. About three years? A couple of years. Something like that. All right, we're like definitely a part of like the official Air Force type deal, right? And that's because, like in the last episode, Luke's a natural with flying planes and all of that sort of stuff. I just dr I should not be employed in this field at all. I just <laughs> drove into the ground with my plane. This is an iconic moment, it feels like, so... I mean, if I fucking know about it, it's gotta be. So I've gotta drive through the rings. Okay, okay, I get you, I get you, I get you. I'm gonna do it this time and it's gonna look way cooler, okay? I don't know how I managed. Oh, uh, uh, yep, yeah, okay, we're getting there. We're doing something. Okay, we've got to take nice, sharp turns. Great. Excellent. This is why they hire me for the job. This is why they pay Luke the type of salary he gets, all right? The flying proficiency. The combat awareness. The speed at which he works. This is why they pay him the big bucks. I don't think he is paid. Oh my god, okay, wait. Are we out on the battlefield for free right now? I can't support that, dude. Is Luke an unpaid intern? Okay. Did we win? We won. Dude, the Rebel Alliance takes another W. Darth Vader actually crying RN. All right, we're gonna go. We're evacuating. Is this a... Uh... 
Leia, yep, yeah, okay. Dude, the gang's back together. It feels good. It's a it's a tight little cast of characters, the the main the main crew, you know? I like them. They're cool. I don't know, man. These enemies we're fighting now look a little bit too close to a different type of organization that exists in the real world. And I don't know how comfortable I am with that. You, you guys couldn't pick a different helmet? Or a fucking different color at least? Jesus. Yeah, snow troopers. Right. Was the Rebel Alliance just kind of chilling on that snow planet? Were we using that as like a base and now we have to leave because daddy came back again? It's like The Walking Dead, right? Like in The Walking Dead, they find a new settlement and then every single time that the walkers come back, they have to leave. Except it's it's just one man in a, in a black costume who can dismember you with a look. So I guess it's kind of worse actually, but it, it's the same kind of feeling I'm getting here. We're going to the Dagobah system. Oh yeah, I gotta go and see Yo Yoda now. Travel to Dagoba to find Jedi Master Yoda. All right, where is Dagoba? Dagoba? It's Dagoba. It's Dagoba. You will go to the Dagoba system. There's no why. You're trying to tell me it's Dagoba, and you're wrong. We're going to the Dagoba system. It's Dagoba, and we're settling on that. All right. We're going. We're currently in Pagola space, and we're going to the planet Pagola. All right. We haven't seen Yoda since we played the uh, prequels, right? So this is kind of like a, this is kind of crazy. This is a little reunion we've got going on here. Oh no, where are we? Okay, S the swamp lands. We crash landed in Greasy Grove. This is a, uh, this is an interesting turn of events. Oh, it's not Greasy Grove, it's Moisty Mire. Okay, you get what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to keep up with all the hip new slang. That would have been a funny joke if I said Moisty Maya, so let's just pretend that I did, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. It's called suspension of disbelief. We need to pretend that we're in a world where I'm actually funny and then, you know, believe hard enough and we might actually get there. I like to believe that this whole starting area is a test and there's a Yoda in the trees watching over us and giving us a little pre-training assessment. So I'm gonna get this kyber brick to impress the little green man. Um. Okay, on second thought, I thought that was gonna be a lot easier than it ended up being. So he can think we're a failure all he wants. I'm gonna go and set up camp, okay? I'm looking for a Jedi Master. Oh, Yoda? You seek Yoda? We're wasting our time! I cannot teach him. The boy has no patience. He will learn patience. So can we, we can see him now. This started out as just a voice in my head, but we're actually having like visions now. The neurological disease is progressing at an alarming rate. It's only been two or three years. We established that. Do you mind? What are you fucking Remy from Ratatouille? You're just gonna control? I've already, I've got so many geriatrics controlling what I do in my life at this point that I don't think I'm gonna be able to cope. But we were doing this just fine without Yoda. I repaired a plane with my mind. I lifted the wing, you saw that. I don't need this swamp dweller to instruct me. I, I've got that natural ability, apparently. A domain of evil it is, and in it you must go. Okay, all right. I am to embark on the hero's journey here, okay, to the cave of evil. Sounds like a real nice place. How much protein in a Yoda? Luke's, uh, he's, he's currently, um... He's bulking at the moment. How much protein in one Yoda? How many calories? I want the nutritional information listed on the box. What are you doing here? Why have you got your own evil little uh, R2-D2 following you around? This is bad, dude. I don't like this at all. This is awkward for me and it's awkward for you. And it's just a little bit cliche that you would be found in the cave of evil. Do you not want to stop and maybe rewrite that one before we get started? You're going to go with it? We're gonna- we're doing this. We're finding the- the antagonist in the Cave of Evil, alright. If you say so. I'm- I'm- I'm trying to get a sense of the family dynamic here. Like, he knows that- who I am, right? This feels too personal. What is actually going on? 
What is it not going to stop and explain what just happened? This might be the most confusing episode yet. What the fuck was that? I'm actually convinced we have gone insane at this point. Luke has a neurological disease. It was a hallucination. Did we get spiked by Yoda? I knew that Yoda was a sketchy fella, but I didn't know he'd stoop as low as that. That's criminal. So good to see you. And how you doing, Chewbacca? Yeah. Hello, what have we here? I am C3 oh human <laughs> You truly belong here with us among the clouds. Well, C3PO is stacked, dude. I don't blame him. Did we get, like, tricked? Did we get led into a trap? There's a lot of betrayal happening. We would be honored if you would join us. Oh, it's a negotiation. Oh no, it's not a negotiation. I thought we were actually gonna sit down and have a nice meal and talk this out. <laughs> I'm a little bit naive, I think. Damn. I love you. We just get executed? He's alive and in perfect hibernation. Oh, okay. Thanks for the clarification. So this dude led us into a trap. And now he's saving us. Can this guy make up his fucking mind? I'm not going anywhere until we get Han back from that bounty hunter. Okay, cool that he just saved us and all, but he didn't know by the looks of things what that machine did. So what if our boy really did just get fucking vaporized on the spot? You can't just choose to be on our side after that. Vader kept changing the plan on him. I mean, look, yeah, no, I can, I can, I can empathize considering like, you don't really have much choice when he's threatening to uh, dismember you with his mind. So yeah, I, I don't know, I guess. Come on, boys. Haven't you learnt by now that you're just cannon fodder at this point? The big guy doesn't know who you are, little bro, okay? <laughs> Darth Vader doesn't care about you. Come on, Princess, we need to reach the Falcon. My men should have fixed the hyperdrive by now. Is that you actually giving orders right now? This, You put us in this position. You should have sacrificed yourself, okay? Or you could have, you could have winked or something. I don't know, I'm undecided on this guy because, like... Han Solo, that could have gone a different way, dude. He is dripping, I won't deny. Like, he's like standing out among the rest, you know? And he's got his guards like dripped out as well. I respect it. He so would have been vaporized there. What's the purpose of keeping him alive? Not that I don't want him to be alive. It's just weird that he would show mercy in that particular moment. To test it for Luke? So he definitely knows that I'm his boy. This ship repair has dragged on like nothing I've ever seen. We're almost there, I guess. Get those Sasquatch hands moving. Is he like predisposed or something? Can you fix the ship? We've got men in half here. We're literally going through the horrors of war right now and you're really taking your time. Let's go. Build, build, build. Slap it with whatever that instrument is a couple more times. Do something, Jesus Christ. I had like six lunch breaks in between building the ship. Han? Leia! I saw City in the clouds. I've gotta go to them. With you and your abilities, the Emperor won't. That is why your friends are made to suffer. Thank you, Obi-Wan, for the, <laughs> for the exposition dump. At least, you know, the the advantage of having him inside our head is we he, he sort of feeds the story to us a little bit, which is very helpful for me. Does Luke have such an affinity with uh, Jedi things that they want to have us as like a, a tool, I suppose? Because we just be that naturally skilled? I'll return. I promise. You. That boy is our last hope. No, there is another. Oh wait, did we, is he like actually pissed with us that we're going to help everybody? Did they want us to stick around in the sludge and learn more stuff instead of going to help everybody? So it definitely is a recurring theme with the, the older people in this story for them to just be like, no, fuck everybody else. Uh, you can either go stay in a cave somewhere or you can stay in Moisty Mire. You got two options in this life. <laughs> The Force is with you, young Skywalker. Oh, we just came right to the source. But you are not a Jedi yet. We move so fast. It's unbelievable. 
Already? Okay, no, I agree with the old men. We're not ready for this. We literally rolled around in mud for like two days. I don't think we uh, are equipped for this at all. What are you doing, Lucas? He's got that, uh, he's got that dad strength. What are you talking about? You've literally got no chance. There is another. I know the real man for the job. R2-D2 has been around the block a couple of times, okay? Luke's still a beginner, but R2-D2, he's, uh, he's definitely seen some shit in his time. He's been around. This is who it was meant to be all along. He doesn't need a lightsaber. That's his advantage. You gotta, you gotta hit him where they least expect it. We're wiping the floor with him, man. Come on. Unbelievable. The fucking chosen one if I've ever seen him. Not too bad, Luke. At least, you know, Luke can be the supporting character, I suppose, but we know who the real star is. The real hero was in front of us all along. Just imagine that. Oh no, Darth Vader would have to be shitting himself at this point. He thinks all this time that Luke's his biggest threat, but it's really this, this little robot. Obi Wan has taught you well. You have controlled your fear. Now, release your anger. Yeah, he's talking to R2, not you, Luke. Just sort of step aside for a moment there, fella. Listen to the pain and anguish in his voice. That's how the movie went, man. I don't know what to tell you. All right, where is this fella? He's here somewhere. Yeah, he's playing games. All right, who are these guys, by the way? Why are they squealing at me? All right, whatever. He's definitely behind door number two. You can't hide forever, old man. You are beaten. It is useless to resist. You're literally hiding in a storage closet, mate. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. I think you've lost this one already. You've definitely lost some of my respect, that's for sure. Luke, get out of the way. Can it let me switch back to the, to the protagonist here? Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. All right, don't, look, he may have infested my brain, but that's no reason to start talking shit, all right? Here we go. He's just waiting at the end of the corridor to finish the fight. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> this looks so ridiculous. You're only delaying the inevitable, okay? It's over for you. You may be Luke's daddy, but R2 is yours. He's gonna sun you right now. The game is just thinking, what are you doing? Like, why are you ruining this moment? I mean, even I've seen this scene like a thousand times and I haven't watched the movies all the way through, so they know that I'm, I'm really messing with something special here. Oh yeah, another missing hand. The series is obsessed with missing hands. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. No. You're no. kidding me. That's not true. That's impossible. That's what I'm saying. I never saw this coming. I'm totally flabbergasted at this new information that I've just received. What? Look, he, he's really trying to get his biggest enemy out of the way there. You can just tell. Luke, we've got to go back. 